Let's create this similar follow kind of animation using geometry nodes. It is not that complicated. In this specific thing, we used a collection info node to refer to the collection of objects we want to animate, or it could be an instances and use an empty to drive this animation that's pretty much it we will get into all these nodes in the middle and for the base body it is the same concept except we use delete geometry let's recreate this in an empty scene i will use the default cube change its shape a bit put it in a different collection and then create an instances of this and again put that in a separate collection this is a crucial step we will add more of those instances now add a plane also add an empty for we will use this to drive the follow. Now we are ready to create this animation. Select the plane and go to the geometry nodes tab and press new. Add a collection info node and refer to that instances collection. Enable the separate children. Connect your geometry output and you can already see your instances. Now add object info and select the empty. Add a set position node. This is to offset the instances. Now we add a position node subtracted by the object info using vector math. Add vector rotate and set it to Euler. Also connect the rotation from the object info to the vector rotate. Connect the vector to separate XYZ and then connect the X output to the value input of map range. Since we want to control the follow from X axis, we use the X output. Add combine XYZ and connect the output from map range to Z input because we want instances to move up or down on Z axis. Now output goes to the offset input of the Z position. Instantly, you see a difference in the viewport. Now, if you want to change the scale, add scale instances, we will use the same X output from the separate XYZ. Add a map range and connect it to the ramp and connect the ramp to the scale input of the scale instances. And now you can play around with the map range and ramp values to get the desired results. And that's it. Now for the other part, I will use the default cube, change its shape, add more subdivision. And now create a new geometry node, add a delete geometry, repeat the same nodes like the earlier, add object info and select the empty, add position node, then add a vector node, set it to subtract, connect the object info and position to the vector, vector map, separate xyz and the y output to the map range, and map range to the compare node, and set it to less than and other value as 1. Connect the output to delete geometry. You can adjust the map range values and I'll also add a map node and set it to multiply for further control. Only thing is that the effect of empty is still too strong because the deleted object and the empty has the same location or the same origin point and we are doing all this operation in the middle uh, you know what it is not behaving the way we want so add a multiply node before the vector subtract and adjust the y value see what works for you here the value 0 0.01 would do the transition looks too static so we can use the random node adjust the value a little bit and then it's done. I think it looks good. I hope it helps you.